Subiaco Oval is open to the public for the first time in more than 80 years. It looks very different to the ground where so many iconic football moments happened, but there are still a few reminders of its glory days. Rory Campbell has more. This is where Justin Longmuir and Nick Natanui kicked match-winning goals after the siren. The scene of the infamous Demolition Derby and where the first ever State of Origin game was played between WA and Victoria. As of today, you can get out on Subiaco Oval and relive those famous moments. It's now officially open for public use outside school hours. During school time, the kids at Bob Hawke College will use it. A hallowed place, but not the hallowed turf. The oval has been resurfaced. There are a few reminders of the grandstands from the glory days, with 250 wooden seats and the player dugouts preserved. The last time WA's home of footy was available to the public like this was 83 years ago. It's intended that we have uh, school use, community use and football use and that is the plan. As the COVID restrictions ease, we're looking forward to welcoming junior sport onto the Oval. We're hoping to see people meeting here, enjoying the space. This is a key milestone in the Subi East Development Project. A plan for how development will take place around the ground is still being worked on. That'll see up to 2,000 homes near the Oval and at the old Princess Margaret Hospital site. In the news at six, the latest details on exactly how community organisations will be able to use the Oval, now it's available.